Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It's cool. It's 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 fun to see you know everyone in kind of you know because we've been shooting nonstop, so we've been like pegging the characters. Kind of it's it's fun to see everyone like this. Like, yeah, 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 last week. Yeah, last week. Yeah. Yesterday. What day is it? Saturday. 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 Oh my god. god. Can you tell us about your characters? What is fun to, to play with until now? What is what? What is fun to, to, to oh, shoot into? Yeah. I play Magnus Bane. He's a uh, centuries old uh, high warlock of Brooklyn. And he he has fun. incredible magic <laughs> skills. He is able to create portals and go through a whole different. Uh, um, I think that's what's fun is being able to summon a portal and be able to be in a different country or you know different. Uh, city if you wanted to and I think for me it's just the snarkiness being able to play someone that's it's kind of can be a little sassy but, uh, in the makeup and, and just completely transformed into a different character you know it's, I wanted to steal a lot of his clothes uh, but there's still time for I play Alec Lightwood, um, who is a shadow hunter, a young guy, just 20 years old or so, and um, he's a, a conflicted, rigid character at first, and uh, he's also a leader and a very caring individual, somebody that's very empathetic, especially to those who are close to him. And I think what was fun to play was the transition uh, through the season from this person who is so closed. Uh, and, and so rejecting of, of, of who he really is and sort of sort of really just wants to follow the letter of the law and then transitioning into a more open individual, at least with himself. Yeah, with everyone. Were you both fans of the books? I, I heard about the book. I actually auditioned for the uh, film. Uh, same with me. Yeah, same with which is where um, I knew about it from. But it was so quick. I mean, everything happens so quickly in auditions, you know? You have like 10 auditions a week and you try and prepare as much as possible, but I didn't actually start reading the books until we got, uh, I got the role. And, um, it's been great. This world is incredible. It's so rich. And there's just, the relationships are so strong. And, you know, the characters are, I think, are, um, are defined. You know, and I, that's, and, uh, I kind of fell in love with it when we started shooting it. We actually got to do it live, and it's really weird and awesome to read a book and finally like be it, be a yeah. part of it. And I yeah. think that's incredible. What do you feel like? Business. What do you feel like are the, the, your favorite aspects of your characters? Oof. I I like I like Alex's leadership qualities. I think he's, he's he's really interesting because he's he doesn't really know how to emote properly. You know, or to relate to people properly, but he um, he understands what needs to be done, and he understands how to get people to um, to keep people safe and to keep people uh, doing what 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 is required of them. Uh, well, at the same time, he doesn't really know how to do that to himself, so it's kind of an interesting dichotomy. Dichotomy is right. That's right. Just words. For me, it's. The Magnus being the hero. I think it's fun because it's you see the other characters kind of like squirm or or not know what that meant that he said. You know, he's he's playing with people's heads all the time, and that's his kind of way of getting um, what he wants. What he wants. And throughout the centuries, he's learned so much and experience. You know, he's. Uh, He's met Da Vinci, he's met Michelangelo, you know, he, he's, he's been through it all and seen it all, so I think coming into it, he, he always needs to be stimulated, because he's bored, that he always wants to be stimulated constantly with clothes and changes and makeup and people and, and getting a rise out of it. How do, you, how do you feel playing an old guy? <laughs> feels great, man. I, I'm, I can still move around, jump around. Uh, you know, that's the interesting part, you know, he, he's over 400 years old. Yeah, but what's age when you're immortal? That's, there's no age. You're not yeah, old. There's, just, there's a... I mean, we're talking about the number line, it's from zero to infinity, and you're just, you're not on a... You know. That's true, and I mean, there's a gift and a curse, I guess, to it. You know, the gift is the fact that you're, you're centuries old, but the, the curse is, 
like you see everyone die you know throughout the years and and how do you deal with that you know being immortal and almost like i think there is it's nice i think for to see that there's an ending to something sometimes and he doesn't have an ending it's like forever so, to bring it down <laughs> yeah. can you tease something last question that you filmed that you're really excited for fans to see yeah, yeah that's what we can deal we don't know what we we just don't know what we can say, okay. but there are some really exciting things. There's a, uh, there's some good fights. There's some good. There's people. People love each other. People fight each other, and uh, and I can assure you that all of it is in is a lot of fun and will and will pull on your the dramatic. Weapon, well, I think the weapons and the and because for us it's, we're going to be watching it with the viewers as far as what the special effects yeah. are and you know this thing that we kind of this green screen we looked at and knowing oh, yeah. that that's a demon that's coming out I think uh, it's, you know I, I I saw some footage recently of, of the demons and hmm. it looks it's. It's great. It's top notch. I think. Uh, I think people are really impressed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you guys before you take off. I mean, blow up. Oh yeah. Well, next year we'll see if you know.